Welcome to the TMA Music Business School. In this segment, today I'm going to be exposing the music business and answering your question, can music producers become rich? I have personally built multiple six-figure music businesses as an independent artist by first becoming my own music producer, and this is how I did it. So first and foremost, you got to treat yourself as a brand. This is going to be like high-level high priority stuff we say when it comes to the actual music creation and what you're doing as a music producer and that should be like 30 to 40 percent of your time the rest of it should be the business but really it should be marketing and building your audience so when it comes to treating yourself as a brand you gotta focus on social media okay you gotta not only make content and even if that means you're posting three times a week you're gonna take the same piece of content yes i said it take the same piece of content and post it on every single platform when you post it's gonna add in just a few minutes of your time, but it's gonna give you significant more reach. And so I'm not talking about just Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, but I also want you posting this on YouTube Shorts and LinkedIn. Whenever the new platform pops up, you're gonna post there. All right, and then if you're like me and you like to create on TikTok, go to savetick.cc, okay? Save it on your phone and you can download your videos without the watermark. You're welcome. And then you'll take that same nine by 16 video that's now on your phone, you're gonna upload it everywhere. All right, so you're gonna do this, like I said, no less than three times a week. And I want you to come up with three types of content that reflects what you do. If you're a producer, educate. What do you know? What can you share? What are you doing, right? So share what you're actually doing. And then maybe you do like a lifestyle thing. What do you eat? Do you work out if you're into family? Okay, three types of content. Number two, start a YouTube channel, okay? So when you start a YouTube channel, you're gonna put in the time. Once you grow it, you get to monetize and it can be a sustainable stream of income. And you know, when it comes to like, how long is it gonna take to launch? You gotta put up like 100 to 200 videos. On average, they'd say it's about 100. Some people obviously will be the exception. They'll knock it out of the park right away. Most of us are not the exception. And this can take a year and a half to two years. But you have the channel, you finally can monetize. When you hit the requirements, you can connect your Google AdSense and guess what? You're gonna get paid. So me as producer slash artist, one of my recent releases, we got 450,000 views on it and we made about 350 to 400 uh, on that. So, hey, not too bad. We're not only gonna build our brand, we're gonna start a YouTube channel, but also sample packs. When it comes to selling sample packs, it's not required, but obviously this is kind of what you do, so you might as well. It does require upfront time and effort. So that is the investment for you to put this together, but you can host it on your website, you can host it on third party platforms and it's something that can result in passive income because you did the hard work one time. And I know producers who have basically like multiple things that they're doing, including the sample packs. They're not saying this is my whole gig, but they're like, I'm cool making a little money from this, whether it's a hundred bucks a month or whether it's a thousand, they'll take it. So we're getting our sample packs sample packs, and we're also now gonna focus on royalties. Okay, if you're releasing your own music, great. You're gonna get royalties on music platforms. Make sure you're registered in all the places. I have videos on this channel talking about how to actually get all your royalties, but also negotiate backend points. If you are working with other artists, it's standard that on the low end, you can negotiate anywhere between two to 5% of ongoing royalties that the artist's music makes. But also, if you're like discounting your time, negotiate that up. You can get up to 50% of incoming revenue if you're discounting your time. So do that, get it into a contract, and then also you're gonna sell your time and you're gonna make beats. Same thing, right? You can make the beats, sell it on your website, sell it on third-party platforms, and this can result again in passive income. Do it on a non-exclusive basis so you can sell it to lots of different artists, but build your email list. You have to cultivate, again, an audience not just from social media, but cultivate an actual email list of people who wanna buy your stuff. And those become warm potential customers. So again, we're building your audience. We're getting you a YouTube channel. You're gonna to put together sample packs. Make sure you're collecting your royalties and contracting to get royalties on the back end. And then you're also gonna sell your time as far as doing beats and sessions. Obviously you guys can make music, mix, master, and this is gonna be part of what you build into your music business plan. So you can not only be rich but let's get you to a hundred thousand a year minimum i work with producers who are able to do this all the time so that's why i want to talk about it with you today if you found this helpful please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you all in the next one